my channel. This is the playlist where I unbox my mini book subscription service boxes. And today we are unboxing the October 2023 Unplugged Book Box. And I am absolutely loving the new green color. We'll see if this sticks around. But let's go ahead and see what's inside. All right, so first up, I'm gonna bet a candle. So we typically get one of those each month. <laughs> I'm right. All right, give in to your appetite. Who are you? There's a rose on top. I don't, is this supposed to be Beauty and the Beast? Hold on, I pulled up spoilers on my phone. Vampire Diaries. I guess that's why. I... Huh, okay, so I wasn't too far off with Twilight. <laughs> Given that apple. All right, next up. <laughs> All right. So I wasn't too far off with Twilight there, but I got it on this one, I guess. So Edward's Eternal Elixir. It's a face oil. I guess I can look young and like a vampire forever. All right, next up, I'm gonna guess like a, ooh, a scent roller, maybe? The Handmaid's Nail. Oh, care oil. So use the roller to apply it to your nails directly. And as you can probably see on my fingers, my nails are not the best. I absolutely hate having my nails done. I've had my nails like professionally done like twice in my life and it was for weddings and neither of them were mine. I ugh, don't, I don't like things on my fingers. Weird fun fact about me. All right, next up. All right, I had to grab scissors to get this one open. And let's see. Ah, oh, how cute. Look at the little ghost. A little coffee shop look. And it's got a little top. Look how cute that is. What are you? Uh, milk jar and sugar bowl. So this exclusive set, including a milk jar and sugar bowl, was designed by at Veronica, ooh, Veronica Lex GM. Hm. Guessing then one of the other boxes in here has the bowl, because I'm gonna, this must be the milk little pourer. All right, Stephanie, don't cut yourself. Or this is the pourer. <laughs> it's got the little house up front. Bookshop for the strange and peculiar. Oh, this is super cute. Oh, I really like this. How adorable. Perfect for spooky season. Actually, it's spooky season in my house year long, so this is probably going to stay out all the time. All right, and then last, it looks like we've got our book of the month. So, A Long Time Dead by Samara Breger. Breger, I, apologies if I'm mispronouncing that. I'm going to guess she is a vampire. Or at least I hope so. Ooh, let's see the... Cover. Not foiled, but that's okay. And then it has the art down the side. Some blood. All right. Somewhere foggy, 1837. Poppy had always loved the night, which is why it wasn't too much of a bother to wake one evening in an unfamiliar home far from London, weak and confused and plagued with a terrible thirst for blood, to learn that she could no longer step out into the day. And while vampirism presented several disadvantages, it more than made up for those in its benefits. Immortality, a body that could run at speeds for hour or at speed for hours without tiring, the thrill of becoming a predator, the thing that pulls rabbits from bushes and tears through their fur and flesh with the sharp point of a white fang. 
and, of course, Roisin, the mysterious woman who has lived for centuries, who held Poppy through her painful transformation, and who, for some reason, is now teaching her how to adjust to her new, endless life. A tight, lonely, buttoned-up woman, with kindness and care, pressed up behind her teeth. The time they spend together is, tran is as transformative to Poppy as the changes in her body, and soon she finds herself hopelessly, overwhelmingly attached. But Roisin has sec secrets of her own, and can't make any promises, not when vengeance must be served. Soon, their little world explodes. Together and apart, they encounter scores of vampires, shifty pirates, conniving opera singers, ancient nobles, glamorous French women, and a found family that throws a very particular sort of party. But overhead, threat looms. One woman who is capable of destroying everything Poppy and Rasheen hold dear. Kind of sounds like uh, Interview the Vampire with Lestat and Louis kind of leading an unconventional vampiric life. But definitely sounds good. Don't know if I will be able to read this in October, but here's hoping. Otherwise, I will probably keep this on my shelf until next October, as I like apparently collecting books for spooky season for like a year in advance and then having 15 books on my to-be-read pile for that month. But there's no way in hell I'm making it through, but we shall see. Or maybe I'll crack this summer and end up reading it. But... That was everything that was included in the October 2023 Unplugged book box. This is the adult fiction box version. Uh, please let me know in the comments if there are other book subscription services that you'd love that I should give uh, or that I should check out as I am always on the hunt for another good book box. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Kind of sounds like an uh, interview with a vampire with, like, Lestat and... Oh my god, what is his name? Oh my god, what is his name?